very happy to report that uh, the most of the work, uh, the modifications in the rear wheel design is complete. We hinged it. Thank you, Father. And uh, we uh, attached the spring to it. We removed it. We cleaned it. We removed the old welding. We cleaned it. Uh, and uh, reinstalled it and installed the spring and it's working wonderfully. Uh, it's pressuring the wheel on the ground so that means that both wheels are going to stay f um, firm, uh, the two rear wheels are going to stay firmly connected to the ground. The spring that the father provided are exactly what we need. The right um, the right it's one of these I think it's this one right here the right length the right girth the right uh, pulling required the right tension the right pulling everything is right two of them here thank you father I acknowledge your provisioning you are my provider, you are my source and my resource. And I thank you, Father. So both of them are done. Tomorrow I come in and I install the spring on the second one. And then one other thing that we found we're going to need is a stop uh, motion. We're going to put a limit to the uh, amount of... Um, of uh, range, the range that uh, the whole wheel assembly can swing in t underneath the vehicle. We don't want it to swing underneath the vehicle. So we're going to make it a good, let's say, I don't know, uh, 90 degrees. 90 degrees should be uh, good or 80, 85 degrees should be good. Um, and, uh, and then we'll be finished with that. And the beauty about that is that the vehicle is going to be able to uh, do its pirouetting. Uh, the uh, two back wheels are no longer going to rob uh, performance because they are in constant contact with the ground. And uh, so we'll be able to do the all of the maneuvers that we need to do with the front and the middle wheels. And then all the maneuvers and performance that we can do with the middle and rear wheels, with the front wheels gone. So, very happy with that. Father, I praise you. I glorify you, Father. I needed uh, a victory. Uh, and Father, you gave me one. I proclaim your goodness, your mercies, your ability to deliver. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, Father, you have shown me that you can deliver, that you're still in the delivering business. You're able. You know how to do it. You know how to bless my life with a deliverance, a miraculous deliverance, Father, just like you did when we had those two purchase our business, Father, that out of nowhere, perfect purchasers, Father, out of nowhere, you're going to bring deliverance. Father, I pray as your son, I pray as your son, the Christ that I am, which I declare, I believe, I am the Christ that I am. Father, I pray. I speak to the mountain, Father, the mountain of mortgage debt. I speak to that mountain as the Christ that I am. And I direct you by the authority of that word of God that's speaking through me. I direct you to be moved and be cast out of my life, be cast into the sea. Father, I declare your word. Thank you, Father.
I just want to take a moment to give <clears throat> honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh my Father for showing me His presence, His uh, ability to deliver, uh, showing me that you know, he's still sitting in his throne, and he is a living God that is a caring and loving and able and wise Father. He's true, he's real, and he is unchanging. He's not one to bless me. And, and and prove to me his love and ability to deliver me one day and then be absent the next day. He's not like that. And Father, I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for giving me the... interaction father the experience of your deliverance I testify that I was feeling somewhat forlorn and I was feeling fearful the other night I was fearful I confess it I was fearful I got up and I I, I ran to the Word and, and I just drowned my ears and, and my mind and my heart. I drowned it with the Word because I was fearful. I got fearful. I started thinking, oh my God, I haven't heard from, uh, from the mortgage company. They could have a sales date in place. Fearful. And I didn't, didn't think, didn't believe didn't feel I didn't not believe but I, I the, the the power of the belief wasn't there that no wait a minute I serve a living father I I am the son of a living father a caring father a father that has demonstrated his ability to to be there with me, to deliver me, not, not, not to be an absentee father, but a father that's there to deliver me, to deliver me. And Father, you have proven in the past your ability to deliver me wisely, Father, not just coincidentally, but wisely and wonderfully, Father, out of nowhere, the perfect deliverance. You are such a father. You are such a father. You're not, you're not chance. You're not luck. You're not a, a blind natural process or force. You are the living spirit. You are the living spirit. You are the source of my being. You are a being. You are a being of, of awesome love and, and awesome power and awesome compassion and awesome ability to bless me and manipulate all things to bless me, to deliver me. I will never stop praising you, Father, for the 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 way that you delivered me in the past. Father, I was facing ruination. I was facing ruination. We were in debt and the business wasn't producing. I was in on the brink of ruination. And there was nothing that I could do about it. Father, but I did believe and I was confident in you, but, but it wasn't because of my 
of, of what I did that it, I deserved it, Father. But out of nowhere, out of nowhere, Father, you sent the perfect deliverance, the perfect deliverance, the perfect purchasers with enough money to buy our business liberally. And Father, you are that type of a God. You are my true and living Father. You are a being with, with passion and compassion and love and understanding and caring and the great ability to create, the great ability to, to reach out from your spiritual dimension from your spiritual reality, reach out and cause things to happen in my life, cause my deliverance. You are such a God and, you know, today you've demonstrated that. Last night I was in fear, today you demonstrated your ability to deliver. Father, you put together that work that was completed today and is so wonderful. Father, you enabled me to cut out a piece that I had welded very solidly. You allowed it, allowed me, Father, through me, in me, through me, by me, for me, despite me, Father, you cut that piece, two pieces out. With ease. With ease, Father. And I want to acknowledge that your spirit cut those two pieces out with ease. With ease. And cleaned them with ease. Father, you protected me while it was being done. You enabled me while it was being done. And I want to acknowledge that, Father. It was easy cutting out liberating that weld. It was easy cleaning it. It was easy. It was easy. It was easy, Father, in the last analysis. It was work, but it was easy, Father. You caused, you caused hard work to go through easily. So it was hard work, but you made it smooth work, easy work. My burden is light. My yoke is easy. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Father, it was, it was a yoke and a burden, but you made it easy and light. And I want to acknowledge that. I want to thank you, Father. Thank you. Then you provided the springs, the perfect springs, the perfect springs, the perfect springs. Father, and you gave... You, 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 you gave me the vision, your spirit in me, through me, by me, for me. <laughs> you know, you gave me the vision as to what we're going to do, how we're going to install that spring. You gave me the vision, the understanding of it. And Father, it worked out so well. Yeah, and then again, you made the welding of that burden and yoke. You made it light. And you made it easy. And so, Father, I have to acknowledge you tonight. I have to acknowledge you tonight. I have to praise you tonight. I have to worship you tonight. I have to uh, give you thanks. I have to tell you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that today... You reached out from your throne, from your heart. You reached out and you have given me a hug. You have given me uh, a spark in my belief, in my passion in my faith, in my acknowledgement of you, in my appreciation for you. You reminded me that you are my Father and that you are 
the all-powerful creator God of the universe and you love me and you are committed to my success, you are committed to it and you have, you have demonstrated that in the past in no uncertain terms, Father. And so I thank you, Father. And I believe, Father, that you are going to bring everything that you have shown my heart. Everything you're going to bring it to pass, my Father. So thank you, my Father. 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 Thank you. When you're giving your testimony... That's the time to let your emotions flow, your emotions show. Because your, uh, your gratitude is something that you should release with, with fervor, with, with passion, with joy, with emotion. So it's good, you could be, you could be emotionless about a lot of interaction with God but not with it when it comes to your testimony when you come when it comes to your testimony you you can let your heart strings loose you could let that powerful emotional pony that you are loose in the field to gallop around with joy I remember how people in church used to give their testimonies. They used to get up and, and let their hearts flow. Let their joy flow. Let their passions flow in giving their testimony. And so that that passion, that joy, that power of that testimony can be projected onto someone else that someone else may believe, that someone else may be blessed by that belief of that testimony, that the power of that testimony can be transferred by the emotional rendering, the emotional telling, and the, the, the emotional worship that is telling that testimony and worshiping and thanking God and being grateful and, and, and happy and joyful for the deliverance. That is a powerful way to transfer the power of the testimony. The power of the testimony is the passion that it generates. Because that's an that's that's a, 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 an example, a, an instance of the uh, glory of God, God being glorified when He comes through and delivers uh, on protection or providing or guidance, dramatic. Enough that you want to get up and testify about it so that others may know what God is doing for you. So that's the way to give a testimony with joy, passion, with emotion. Turned up. Because God deserves turned up testimony.